Edouard Manet. Luncheon on the Grass. This painting, created in 1863, can be found in the Orsay Museum, in Paris. The artwork is considered as one of Manet's most influential and controversial pieces, defying the prevailing artistic conventions of its time. It portrays two couples in a green landscape enjoying a picnic together in the countryside. A striking feature of the painting is the prominent position of a nude female figure in the foreground, who captivates the viewer with her direct gaze. She is accompanied by two elegantly dressed gentlemen. The deliberate placement of the nude female figure amidst the clothed men serves as a provocative and unconventional choice, challenging the societal norms and expectations of that era. In the background, we can observe another lightly dressed girl. At the bottom of the composition we notice a fruit basket resting on the woman's dress. Further away, remnants of breakfast such as bread, fruits, and a bottle are visible. The identities of the faces are familiar, as the woman served as a frequent model for the artist, while the men were none other than Manet's brother and brother-in-law. Within the depiction of the nude female form, one can observe a striking contrast between the warm tones of the flesh and the cold grey hues of the men's attire. The painter deliberately eliminates color gradients, transitioning directly from light to shadow. This approach aligns with the aesthetics of Japanese engraving, resulting in a two-dimensional quality to the painting. The painting was rejected by the French Salon and faced harsh criticism. Its unconventional composition, provocative content, and departure from traditional artistic techniques were met with disdain, as many deemed it morally offensive. Essentially, the painting serves as a manifesto, declaring the artist's freedom to combine various elements in order to achieve a purely aesthetic effect. The concept that a work of art possesses its own set of laws, distinct from those governing everyday life, played a crucial role in shaping the course of modern painting movements.